Uh, and that was the first book in that Wandering Star series of uh, Howard's work. Uh, I went on to do Bran McMorrin, of course, and Conan as well. But Solomon Cain was the, was the guy I think I, uh, I, I felt closest to. Um, uh, he was uh, a thin, skeletal character, and I was even able to use myself as a model. <laughs> Whereas I couldn't do that with Conan, of course. <laughs> Um, uh, Conan, you know, he's been arguably, he's probably one of the most uh, heavily illustrated characters of all the Howard stuff. So there's not a lot you can do with him in terms of, um, uh, a different take, I suppose. He's a bit like, um, he's a bit like Frankenstein. I'm not quite sure what you can do with some of these iconic characters anymore. Uh, so you have to look for side areas to try and uh, do something a little different. Um, does that answer your question? <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, it, it's, uh, I mean, I got uh, at the con when I met you, um, I picked up that great plate of Solomon King. Um, um, we actually have that picture Mike can post it of um, him um, fighting with a couple other guys. And it's just an incredible piece of, of, of work. Um, you know the one I'm talking about, right? The one with the um, the, the, the mural in the background and, and then his shadows up against oh, the background. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the uh, cover of the uh, collectible book, which yes, not a lot of people see these books. I mean, I don't know if, if you um, have visual here on me, but uh, these books, which uh, came slipcased, and uh, were uh, fairly expensive at the time, uh, were really very nicely produced books. Uh, of course, they came out in trade editions later on, but they were never quite as nice as the original books with, with the original plates and all the, uh, the color plates, um, such as the opening here, the, this sort of thing. Um, I think the trade editions are fine, but uh, these books were really special. They even came with other things. Everything fell out of this uh, uh, slip case. It's like a Swiss Army knife. You get an extra set of plates. They even had a CD in these things with uh, a British actor reading the poems of Howard, of Solomon Cain, and it's really cool. Not, not too many people uh, are aware of just how nice this, this book really was because they only printed um, a thousand copies of it. And uh, now I think you might be able to find one for four or $500 online, but I, I, I'm sorry that uh, more people weren't able to see the, uh, the collectible edition. How long did it take it to uh, make that plate? I mean, it's so... Um, they, those paintings took about a month apiece. A month apiece, wow. And uh, not, not to mention the fact that um, uh, there are almost 200 black and white penline illustrations in there, as well as eight paintings. So each one of those books, the Solomon Cain, and of course uh, the Conan book, which is also a slipcase thing, um, they took about a, a little over a year apiece. So I was tied up with Howard for about three years. Um, now, when you I mentioned Conan real quick. Um, yeah. And of course, a lot of people are aware of that work, aware of the film. A lot of people know Conan the film, mm -hmm. uh, as well as the, the art. How do you feel about, I say, inspiration or borrowing your, your work? I mean, do you look at it as flattery? Do you look at it as copycatting? Uh, I'm, I, 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 how do I look at my work? Well, a, when, when, when people borrow from you, when people... I, I don't, I'm not aware of people borrowing from me. I, I oh know... Oh, my goodness, really. Borrowed from all kinds off. of people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really aware of uh, people borrowing from me. Oh. Well, let, let, me, let me show a shot of... A shot from the film, Conan. And then... Well, you see, I've never seen the film, so I don't... Which is no. amazing that you yeah, have not seen the film. Crazy! <laughs> I've, never seen any, I've never seen any Conan film. 
But then, didn't they refer? Didn't they ask if they could refer to your artwork? Well, um, <laughs> they do in an oblique manner, yes. Oh, but oh. Uh, Hollywood is notorious for uh, ripping off, borrowing things. <laughs> yeah. I, I well, guess I am aware of that. So. Well, here's a shot of what you did. And I'm going back and forth um, with a shot from from Conan, and I did. It, it, it's amazing. It, it's a, your your work is amazing, and it's interesting um, that they were smart enough, even if it's copy, and they were smart enough to 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 borrow from your your imagery there. Um, that was brilliant. Well, I I do remember a couple of screenplay writers coming up to me in San Diego. Uh, and they did tell me that uh, one of my paintings was an inspiration for a scene they were writing, and they were probably, uh, <clears throat> um, I guess, I guess they were referring to the one where he's sitting in the chair. Mm -hmm. Which, when I was painting it, I thought I must be crazy painting a picture of Conan sitting in a chair. Nobody's going to find this very interesting. <laughs> but again, I was trying to do something a little different, and. Uh, you know, there are some illustrators who they're, they're great with uh, swords and weaponry and costumes and so forth. Um, I never felt quite as at home with a lot of the accoutrements as I do the, uh, the human aspects of a, a picture, like a, even a Conan picture. And in that picture, I, I really, I, I thought I, I, I was trying to get across uh, a, a mood and a, maybe a little bit of a psychological profile of Conan, if this is the one we're talking about, mm -hmm. um, more so than, uh, you know, just how uh, fierce he can be with, a, with an axe or a, or a sword. And I just wanted him sitting in a chair. And I thought if I could make him threatening, um, then uh, I would have pulled off uh, something that, that I think is, uh, for me, um, much more interesting uh, because there's so many guys who can can do all this great stuff with, uh, you know, guys getting their heads chopped off and piles of bodies. And that, that goes all the way back to Frazetta. <laughs> um, and, and uh, you know, that that's wonderful that they can get that visceral uh, sense of violence in their work. Uh, I like to do that myself when I can, but I just wanted to do something a little more uh, restrained, at least with that picture. Speaking of all those, uh, with the bodies, he did that painting of uh, uh, Brand, uh, Brand Morn uh, with, with that entire Roman legion. Oh, that yeah. That was incredible. Yeah, yeah. Well, my, my, we, I sent you that. Yep, I got that it. And right on top. And I mean, how long did that take? I mean, that is just so incredible. That's what I love about your work. You, you, you just put so much into it where others would have done just so much less. It, it, it's just, who was your influence when, when you started out? Well, of course, uh, Frazetta was a big influence, but there are a lot of uh, classical uh, illustrators that I like, not only Ill uh, classical illustrators, but of course, you know, the great painters like Rubens and Rembrandt and uh, Doré. Uh, Doré's done wonderful things with crowds of people. And I, that's something I do like. I, I like arrangements of figures, groups of figures arranged in a way where um, trying to create order out of chaos. I mean, I'm not the only guy who does that sort of thing. There, there are a lot of terrific guys working today, fantasy artists who, who do great work. Donato is really good at that. Um, but uh, I, I do like those kind of groupings of people Right. And uh, I, I do have another painting sitting in the background there. Uh, maybe actually, this would be good because I really want people to see just size how large this oh. work is, like the original. Seriously, yeah. yeah. I had no idea. Honestly, I had no idea they were this big. <laughs> Here, here's the uh, the painting of uh, Conan sitting in the in the chair. Let's see if I can get this up for the bigger than you right that's like as big uh, as you it's uh it's 30 by 40. <laughs> so. that's me that's like two of, of me okay like <laughs> I, he's, right. a, he's such a modest man but when i say he's one of the best of all time this man's one of the best of all time uh, well uh, thank you for the kind words uh, <laughs> uh that's great 
And actually, that's, we're getting a really clear shot of that when you do that, too. Okay, that's great. Well, that's that's one, but I have another one in the background here. We're talking about uh, figures and uh, a variety of figures collecting in a grouping. So I don't know if you can see this on camera very well. Actually, wow. you can, this, though. Wow. Um, <laughs> No, the reason I say wow is because, you know, even with the internet, I'm not getting, obviously, all the strokes I'm not getting, but you could see, even in the non-detail, how much detail that must be there, if that makes sense. Well, you know, there's something to the abstract quality of a picture that I like, mm -hmm. even if you're not catching all the details, if you can get the spirit of the thing through uh, the abstract shapes and uh, color and so forth, it's uh, well. It's 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 an aspect of the uh, illustration. Um, I like the. Well, we're gonna do a little transition. Talk sure. about some movies and some stuff that's out now. I'll um, I'll sit here and listen. And, but we're gonna and, and jump in. But we're also gonna talk about. You have a really good sense of humor. You must have, because for you to get involved with Hellboy Christmas Special. <laughs> You, you know, oh, Lord. I mean, how do you go from Conan to that? But before we do that, Crystal, Crystal Black, Black Crystal, Black um, Crystal. you got some information for us. As far oh, as yes. So 